What's up, world? Matt here. And today, we're learning about the English skill of asking questions about physical descriptions. First, let's practice some of the words that we've been learning about describing people's hair and their eye color. Then, we'll work together to practice asking yes or no questions about those description words. Okay, for starters, how can you describe this person? What do you see? Yeah, she has long curly hair and blue eyes. How can you describe this person? Yeah, she has short straight hair and brown eyes. How can you describe this person? Yeah, he has short curly hair and brown eyes. How can you describe this person? Yeah, she has long straight hair and green eyes. How can you describe this person? Yeah, she has long dreadlocks and green eyes. How can you describe this person? Yeah, she has an afro and blue eyes. And how can you describe this person? Yeah, he has short braids, maybe medium braids. Not short, not long, medium braids, and brown eyes. Great work practicing those words. All right, you've gotten great at using these describing words to give descriptions about people. Now, I want us to practice asking yes or no questions to learn about people's descriptions. For example, if we look at this picture, I could ask you, does she have short hair? Does she have short hair? And then you could say, yes, she does. Does she have short hair? Yes, she does. Let's try it again. Does he have long hair? Yes, he does. Does he have short hair? Does he have short hair? No. So then you can say, mm, no, he doesn't. Does he have short hair? No, he doesn't. Does she have long hair? No, she doesn't. Does he have straight hair? Yes, he does. Does he have curly hair? Yes, he does. Does he have straight hair? No, he doesn't. And does he have straight hair? No, he doesn't. Does she have braids? Yes. She has braids. Does she have braids? No, she doesn't. Does she have dreadlocks? No, she doesn't. Does she have dreadlocks? Yes, she does. Does she have an afro? No, she doesn't. She has straight hair. Does she have an afro? Yes, she does. Does he have brown eyes? Yes, he does. Does he have green eyes? No. He doesn't. Nice job answering those questions. Now I'm going to ask you a question, but I'm not going to show you a picture. Instead, I want you to listen to the words that I'm saying. And I want you to think, are these words in the correct order or are they all mixed up? If you think that they're in the correct order, then I want you to say correct. But if you think that my words are all mixed up, I want you to say incorrect. Okay? 
So I say a question and you tell me if my words are in the correct order or incorrect order. Let's try one. Question number one. Does she have long hair? Correct or incorrect? Does she have long hair? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, question number two. He does long hair have? Correct or incorrect? He does long hair have? That's incorrect. The correct order for this question is, does he have long hair? Does he have long hair? Okay, question number three. She have braids does? Correct or incorrect? She have braids does? That's incorrect. The correct question is, does she have braids? All right, question number four. Does he have an afro? Correct or incorrect? Does he have an afro? Yeah, that's the correct way to ask that question. All right, let's try two more. Does curly hair she have? Correct or incorrect? Does curly hair she have? That's incorrect. The first thing we want to say is, does she have? And the second thing we want to say is curly hair. Does she have curly hair? That's the correct question. All right, let's try one more. Does he have dreadlocks? Correct or incorrect? Does he have dreadlocks? Yeah, that question is correct. Great job practicing the word order, asking these yes or no questions. All right, now I want us to use our question asking skills to play a game called Guess Who? Look here at all 16 of the people we've been describing. With the magic of video editing, I'm going to have our editor show you a secret person now. So look at who this secret person is, and I want you to remember it. Do you remember which person is the secret person? Okay, now I'm gonna ask you questions to try and discover which one of these people is the secret person. Okay, well, the question we've been practicing in English is, does she have or does he have? For me to use that question, I need to know if this person is male or female. So that's gonna be the first question I ask. Is your secret person male or female? Ah, they're female. Okay, so, hmm, does she have short hair? Does she have short hair? Yes, she does have short hair. Okay, I think I have some ideas. Does she have curly hair? No, she doesn't have curly hair. Okay, she has short, straight hair. I see a couple possibilities. Does she have brown eyes? No. Okay, I think I know who it is. It's her. Yeah, I figured it out. Awesome. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna have our editor show you a different secret person. I won't look, and then I'll ask you questions to try and figure out who it is. Are you ready? Do you remember who the secret person is? Okay. Let's go. Is your secret person male or female? Ah, they're male. Okay. Does he have long hair? Yes, he does have long hair. Okay. Does he have straight hair? No. Okay, so he has long hair and it's some kind of curly. Does he have an afro? No, no hair, long kind of not straight hair. Does he have dreadlocks? Aha, I know who it is, it's him. Nice, I got the second person. Okay, let's try one more time with one more secret person. I'll look away and you memorize the secret person. Got it? Okay, now, is your secret person male or female? female. Okay. Does she have long hair? Uh, yes, she does have long hair. Does she have straight hair? 
No. Okay. Long curly hair. Does she have an afro? No afro. It's not her. Does she have braids? Yes, she does. It's her. Yeah. Great job. You did a great job answering my questions throughout this entire lesson. But now I want you to try and practice asking these questions. Well, here's the problem. If you ask these questions, you're going to have to speak really, really loud for me to be able to hear them. And if I can't hear you, then I can't answer your questions. So what I want you to do is I want you to go down on the comments and click on the link to get to this document. We've made a handout so that you can play guess who with a family or friend. So take this document and open it up and you can look at it on your cell phone screen, on a tablet or computer, or you can print it out and it has lines to cut and you can play this game with paper cards. So find this worksheet, find a friend who speaks English and practice asking yes or no questions to play guess who. Great job practicing today. Good luck playing games with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Bye world and keep learning.